Hey folks, Jimmy Ronzello here. Um, we were racing out west this uh, spring. So uh, driving through California, I noticed Chatsworth. And uh, Chatsworth is the home of uh, Bear Block Motors. Bear Block Motors does this Coyote race block. Been around for about the last seven years. Uh, every uh, world champion with a Ford, NMRA, NMCA, uh, the past few years uses this block. So NHRA approved for stock eliminator. Um, it uses a um, A356 material. E6 hardness. Okay, get those numbers right, Jim. Um, so you can see the block is a very robust material versus what you would get with a Ford block. Um, it uses a half inch 13 main stud uh, with a doweled uh, main cap, you might notice it's only a two bolt main, but it's not really because if you look down the side, it's got a double 7 16 uh, bolt going into those mains, uh, similar to like what some tractor pull engines. So a very robust main on this thing. Uh, been around for seven years. Um, it's a very good race block, obviously, but um, to put in a streetcar, eh, might be some issues there. Why? Because it demands that you use a remote oil filter so that may have some uh, clearance problems as average street guy don't want to put a remote filter on his car um, plus with the current cars like uh, let's say the new GT500 or the Raptor that that uses the supercharged Coyote they have a um, uh, a boss area for knock sensors that is not on this particular race block so uh, for that reason um, Bear Block Motors uh, decided to manufacture another style Coyote block. So let's uh, sweep over here, Joe. And as you sweep over here, you might notice a, a whole host of uh, Coyote blocks. And what we've got here is a block that's been available since the beginning of this year, 2023. And it's the uh, production replacement Coyote block. So same material, same hardness same ductile iron sleeve however because it's a production replacement it's going to use the production style mains the production bolts or studs if you want to do uh, a single side bolt with an oil filter mount so a factory ford oil filter mount some of you may notice that it has the third hole which only became 15 and later on coyotes and this is an oil drain hole back to the crankcase uh, earlier coyotes only used two holes uh, for the oil in and oil out of the filter. So you might say, well, we can't use this in an 11 through 14, but you can. You can just simply buy the oil filter adapter for the 15 Mustang GT or truck and voila, you're good to go. Uh, it does have oil squirters. You can see down in here that it's got the uh, squirters in place. Plus it does have an area here where you can put the other style squirter um, that Ford used. So they had two different style squirters, ones that went right through the main and then another one that uh, had piston squirters coming up uh, to the bottom of the pistons. So same structure, same block, same ductile iron sleeves. These blocks can start at a standard bore of 3 inch 630. It'll come in 10 thousandths below that bore diameter and can go all the way to 3 inch 710. So the 5.2 board, 3 inch 700, this thing can go to that without a problem. So uh, very good block. Um, wouldn't, it doesn't make sense to me for someone to take a factory Ford block, pay someone to put sleeves in it, the, the labor, uh, the, you gotta buy the sleeves, and you still end up with the lighter material. $4,500 for this block, about the same price, you're gonna do, get a sleeve job and buy another block. I'm sure you might be able to save a buck or two if you can do some of the work yourself, but again, this is by far a no-brainer to, to purchase that block. So any way you want to go, you want to buy a race block, you want to buy a um, production replacement, $6,500 for the race, $4,500 for the production replacement. You're good to go with any Coyote in the near future and beyond. All right, thanks guys. That's it. Hey, since I'm in California and I'm driving home, might as well grab a block. All right, thanks.